All right. So today I have a, a replay here that I I got yesterday. I played this ship yesterday. Um, it's in the Lapanto. It's the early access tier nine Italian battleship. It's the tech tree one. Um, someone in chat gifted me a bunch of doubloons so we can open the things on stream to see how long it would take to actually get this ship. And it took us about, well, I already had tried it 10 times, but it took us 13 times from the donations from the guy in chat. So thank you, Solitary Stalker, again for giving us this ship. Um, he also gave us, I mean, Veneto because of it. So we're, we also play that. I'll feature the Veneto tomorrow. But anyway, Lapanto. What is it like? Um, hmm. I think if you were to compare it to any other tier 9 battleship, I think maybe you just compare it to the Alsace just because of its 12 gun layout on four, you know, four guns each turret, I guess. But apart from that, it's not really similar to Alsace in any way. Um, <laughs> but anyway, how are the guns? Because, you know, it's a battleship. That's what matters, really. How are the guns? Um, let's see, They're, the dispersion on these guns can be really, really bad. But, thing is, your alpha damage is so high with the sap that, for the most part, it doesn't really matter sometimes. Like, look, we landed three shells there and we got 9k damage on an angled Massachusetts, right? That's pretty good damage, I'd say. Um, now, the gimmick of the ship is really truly the line, it seems. I can't really talk about the Colombo yet, but I can talk about the Lapanto since I've played it, and I can talk about the Veneto and the Doria because I played those. But this Lapanto thing, its gimmick is, of course, the smoke screen. You get a smoke screen, and you also get the sap. Now, is the sap good? Is it like Italian Venezia sap? It's similar, as you can see from these big damage salvos. The sap isn't bad. The sap is actually pretty good. Um... Chat said this ship was really bad and how it's it's actually really bad and not fun to play. But, I mean, this was my first game in it. I played another one after this. I'm not going to show that one. That one was a pretty good one to 140k. So, both games were pretty good, I think. Thing is, we're running the reload mod this game, which is highly not recommended, apparently. Just because, look at the gun range, 18.1. 18.1 kilometer gun range on a tier 9 battleship is not good. Um, that's that's basically cruiser gun range at this tier, and the only way to buff it up is either putting the range mod on, which I did second game, um, which actually, the second game I actually needed the, re the reload mod because I was in range the entire time, or you could, you know, um, get the spotter plane, which I have, that increases your range um, by, a, you know, by an amount for an amount of time. Or, um, if you put Sansonetti on the ship, which I did, when you get your first kill, your gun range will also increase. So Sansonetti is a really strong captain for the Italian battleships, because your gun range will increase. I honestly think, from the two games I've played, I'd rather be running the reload mod on this thing. Um, just because, I know the gun range is so limiting, but, I don't know, it seems like I've been able to stay in that gun range for the most part, for the most games. But, I mean, I'm gonna play it a bit more today, and on stream and I'll determine if if you have to have the range mod by force but so far the reload mod has been the thing for me um, that I've been using and should be using so far because even in the second game where I used range mod there was not a single shot I did where I needed the range mod at all uh, but yeah anyway <clears throat> so is the sap good yeah it's oh it's good I mean it's like it's like Venezia right it's not maybe as good as Venezia because Venezia gets 15 shells and this gets 12 Plus, the, the dispersion on Venezia allows it to hit most of its shells. But still, you get really high alpha sap. You can pen superstructures or 30... I mean, any 32 or... I think I think the sap pen goes up to 96, which is really good. So, if like a Kremlin's broadside... I mean, normally on broadsides, you still shoot the AP because you might get citadels. But if you cannot get a citadel, literally can't. I think the SAP is just, just better. But anyway... Um, do you pen destroyers with this SAP? Um, no. You When you hit an SAP shell on a destroyer, you will get overpin damage of the SAP. So it's like it's basically like shooting at it with AP, just slightly higher damage, right? But yeah, so don't expect any one shots like Venezia does, alright? But anyway. So, smoke screen here, 
I use the smoke because I don't want to die. This hull is actually really vulnerable. <coughs> Sorry. Really vulnerable to damage. It's kind of its main issue, I think. The hull takes so much damage. This is... I don't know. People have been punching me with AP at like crazy angles. And I don't know why. I'm not sure why. Um, the armor says it's pretty good in port. But I guess it's just... It just gets penned a bunch. I've been citadeled at close range and at long range in this thing, so it can happen. But yeah, so really be, play safe with the ship. Don't be hyper, you know, aggressive unless you have to. You can be somewhat aggressive, but not, not in their face, especially without the smoke. But yeah, the smoke, we use it to walk away from this jump bar. Pretty effective use, I think. There's, there's a few ways you could use the smoke. Um, I like the smoke on the ship. It's, it's a gimmick, yes. But it, it's it's not bad. It's usable and it actually helps out battleship this battleship especially a bunch because it takes so much damage. Um, so what you can use the smoke for is basically either charge down into people with the smoke. But remember when you're charging down people with the smoke they have to be pointed towards you and walking towards you at the same time. Because if they're walking away from you you can't really charge someone down with smoke because he'll just walk away from you. So it's... So it's completely useless in that regard. But if they're walking towards you and you're walking towards them and you don't want to take excessive damage, pop your smoke and walk at them. Another way that you can use the smoke is walking away from someone, like we just showed there against the jump bar. We walked away from him with the smoke. And, of course, I, in my opinion, the most important part about the smoke is you can make a gamer turn. You can literally turn full broadside you of course smoke up then you turn full broadside and turn away let's say you're bowing in a horrible position right um pop the smoke turn around and you're clear you're right you're gone so that's good in those situations where you have to make a gamer turn and you just gonna go dark and yeah now smoke shooting in the smoke not really worth it 15.8 kilometer gun bloom not worth at all it literally spots you so Honestly, the smoke isn't meant to be like Venezia smoke in where you can like shoot from inside the smoke. This is meant for either disengaging from a horrible situation or running at someone to brawl him. That's, that, those are the only two ways you can really use the smoke. Also, look at this gap, by the way. <laughs> We're really lucky here. Kill the Fletcher. That's our first skill. We got our gun range up. Up to 19.6. That's with reload mode, so that's pretty good. But yeah, this Marcel's punching us out. But we walk away successfully. So we're chilling. Yeah, so what do I think of the ship? I am I don't I don't mind it. I, I kinda like it. It's this game. I'll show you in the later round here. Um it starts smashing people. Like unironically these salvos are pretty good. For for a battleship, I think they're pretty good. That on angle targets. Normally you have to shoot HE or you just shoot for superstructure and hope for nine K damage. This sap, like on a Massachusetts right now, twelve K. Pretty good damage in my opinion. This is gonna be pretty good damage consistently here with this app. It, I like it. Your main issue, of course, is the inconsistency of the dispersion. But otherwise, the damage it outputs is really high and really cons I mean good. When you actually hit, of course. Now, I'm just shooting here. I don't really care. I don't know why I'm sitting, not broadside, but this is not a good angle on this massa, so I'm probably going to take a hit. 17,000 damage from 7 shell hits, that's 17,000. Now, in the Veneto game, I'll show you tomorrow, I hit a Montana in Veneto, a tier 8 battleship. I hit a Montana for 20,000 damage in one shot, right, with the sap. The sap can hurt people, like, it's good, but yeah. That's, I mean, that's my opinion on this thing. It's it's not a bad ship. It's pretty good. But yeah, as you can see, 15k, 6 pence. I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, that's pretty good, no? Um, what, what can you do that in at tier 9? Musashi, of course, is better, right? You can overmatch. Um, maybe Alsace HE, you can set some fires. But, I mean, yeah. But yeah, so, dude... This ship is good. Now look, I'm gonna shoot the Smolensk here. Shooting the Smolensk with sap. What am I gonna do to the Smolensk? Hmm? Yes. You can Citadel Smolensks with the sap. So we just dev struck a Smolensk. I don't know why it didn't give us a dev strike achievement. It might have not been a dev strike. It seemed like a dev strike in terms of the damage on the top right. But it didn't give it to us. 
Um, but yeah, so pretty good sap sit there. <laughs> like, I don't know, 15, 16k on this one. It's pretty good. Remember, you can sap sit, I think, three ships or four, maybe, maybe four actually. Minotaur. Um, no, no, three ships. So Minotaur, um, Smolensk, Colbert. I'm not sure about the Plymouth. You might be able to sap sit the Plymouth, right? But I'm not sure. Those are the tier 10 ones you can um, over, um, sap sit. The tier 9, of course, Neptunes and, you know, maybe tier 8 Edinburgh or tier 7 cruisers. I haven't played a game against tier 7 cruisers. If you're playing against tier 7 cruisers and you find them and catch them out broadside and you just sap them, you might be able to just citadel them. I mean, if they're angled, you can shoot the AP over match their nose, maybe get the citadel anyway. But the sap, if they're broadside, I'm sure you could citadel, I think, a lot of tier 7 cruisers. So, I, but, but I have yet to try it out, so I'm not 100% sure on that one. But anyway, we land only one shell there. Well, two shells, one of them only did damage on the Bismarck. We um, did 4k, I guess. Not bad, not good, but it's fine. We're really low now, we, we're out of heals. So we're in a really risky spot, but what can kill us right now on the map, looking at the map? Nothing, right? Nothing. Because the Jambar and the Massa, who can actually punch us down, are behind the rock. I'm angled to the Bismarck, Minnesota, so they can't kill me. So we're chilling right now, we're just chilling. Um, the issue here is, my destroyers are both gonna die to this Marceau, and I'm, I'm like panicking. I'm like, how are we gonna win this game if we don't kill this Marceau, right? Z44 has no gun DPM, it's like one of the worst ships ever made. And he's, he's, I mean, it's it's showing against the Marceau, but anyway. We shoot, we hope for the best, because I, I, I just needed that kill, or we lose this game automatically, because I get the cap. And we're lucky, we end up getting the kill. Now, what else here? We go for, we have three kills already, and we're just gonna go for the 200k. Try to get 200k, but yeah, it's really hard, honestly. Thing is, we need to try win this game, more important than the damage. Honestly, I was looking to win this game. And, well, how are we gonna win this game? I look at the map, I'm like, okay, Minnesota's dead. We're not in a bad spot, we're winning right now. What can the enemy do team do to win them this game? I was thinking, alright, so the number one thing they could probably do to win this game is put their jump bar into B cap, because we're gonna have a really hard time to kill that thing, right? And, well... Jump bars behind that wrong point in north, so I assume he's gonna come north, turn in like that, like he's doing, and then come back into B, right? He has to do that. Well, now he doesn't, but because they're winning the game, right? Unless their Bismarck dies, which their Bismarck will die. We're gonna try kill their Bismarck. We're gonna try focus him out really quick. The gun range is very limiting, as you can see, but I'm trying to run towards the Bismarck. Jump bar is sitting there. He's gonna try push into B, as expected. Now, I try to get shots on this uh, Bismarck here. I'm hiding from the jump bar because the jump bar can hit me really hard on my side. But yeah, we shoot the Bismarck. I believe we get the skill here because he's really low. All it needs is like one or two sap pens. But we get three sap pens somehow. But yeah, we kill it. We're winning again, so we're chilling. Our Cleveland's really low, low though, and they're gonna contest B. When they contest B, we, we start losing the game. So we have to kill the jump bar. Build for, uh, by force. Um, so I'm gonna walk away as much as I possibly can. And just try to live as much as possible. Now, the, my issue here, I have one smoke left. I've been saving it for a situation like this where I need it, right? I, wait, I use it here. Jambar does end up shooting me. Um, I shoot here, kind of wasting my smoke screen. But it's okay. I, we need as much damage as we can on this guy. We need resets. We get 15,000 damage onto his like superstructure or something. Because he's pretty angled. So I assume it was superstructure damage. And that's, I mean, that's really good damage on that guy. But anyway, we kill this jump bar. We win the game. So I'm just going to sit here and just say as angled as, as possible. Now here, I for some reason, I decide to shoot the... The Massa? No, no. I thought about shooting the Massa because I thought he was at a better angle, but he angled in and I was like, hmm, I don't really want to shoot that anymore. So I switched back to the Jumbar, I think. I believe. I really wanted to shoot the Massa, man. I really did. Because I thought I could finish him off. But the Jumbar got lowered down, so we're just gonna try finish him off here. 12k. That should be okay. Maybe finishable. Six pens and kill. This sap is pretty good, guys. The damage it can do is really, really, really good. 
And we got we ended up getting here 187k damage already in five kills. And we're just chilling now. All I have to do is live. I don't want to walk out and die because we'll lose the game. But the massa the ma the massa will die guaranteed. So even if I die at this point, we still win. So I'm kind of chilling. We're just relaxing. The CV loses it. Loses his entire squad there to the Cleveland. I only shot down like one or two planes there. But the Cleveland did the majority of that AA damage. He loses all his planes. Wonderful. And I'm just going to chill here. I mean, nothing much else to do. Really and truly. <clears throat> Maybe get one more shot on the Mesa. Maybe try finish him off. Maybe try get six kills. But it's going to be really difficult because there's this rock in the way now. And well, I'm 2k HP. So he shoots me once I die. But yeah. He's contesting B, but it's kind of too late now because we gained the points that we needed. And, well, contesting B at this point, not that it doesn't matter. Like, if he's not going to get it, though, it doesn't matter. Like, at least he's trying to do something here, but I think the game's very much over. We have so many ships compared to their team. He's kind of isolated. Uh, their CV is off the screen, so he's not really in a position to support him. So, yeah, I believe I might die here. Maybe not, actually, but yeah. And that's the game. So, for score screen, one personal score, we ended up getting 196,000 damage, and we got 5 kills. So that's pretty good, that's a pretty good game. 99 shell hits for almost 200k, that's pretty good. Sap alpha is actually pretty high, and when you actually get the pens, you will get the damage. But anyway, we got 3 achievements, we got Dreadnought, we got Kraken Unleashed, and we got High Caliber. So that's a pretty good game for the first game in uh, Lepanto. For team score, we ended up getting 2.5k base XP, that's 600 almost base XP over second place, so that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good game, guys. 11 playing kills, whatever. We had a really good game here, and we won the game, so... I, I think this ship is pretty good, again, like... I don't know what to say about this game, I mean, would I have done better in any other battleship? Possibly, but this is the battleship I played, and I did well in it, so... There you go. So, for detailed report, we got 196k damage, of course, as we talked about earlier. Damage received, 124,000. But where did we distribute our damage? On what targets? 54k on the jump bar, 19k on the small end, so it should have counted as a dev strike, but it didn't. 17k on the Bismarck, only 2k on the Fletcher and 1k on the Marceau, but we had to kill those things. And 78k on the Massa and some other damage on other ships. So, this can punch out battleships pretty well and cruisers. So, this is a pretty good... Battleship and Cruiser Puncher out. You you won't get over pens, of course. You can use the AP on broadside if you want to try get Citadels on maybe heavier cruisers and stuff. But on the light cruisers, I think you, sw you stick with Sap. So you can try Saps at them. But there you go. So this is the Lepanto. We ended up getting 2.2k... Uh, sorry, 2.2 million um, potential damage. So again, it's a squishy hull. But yeah, it was a, like a 19-minute game. So it was a really long game, to be fair, too. For credits and XP, we ended up getting 430,000 credits, 10.6k XP, 1.2k free XP, and about 15k um, commander XP. So that's pretty good. I was running one camo, but I was not running any flags. It wasn't the premium camo, this was just a normal camo, Regia Marina camouflage. But there you go. Alright, so for my commander, I'm running for tier 1, so I'm running preventative maintenance and uh, the improved gun feeder for Cincinnati. I'm running for tier 2s, grease the gears for quicker tire traverse. Tier 3s, I'm running adrenaline rush. Uh, tier 4s, I'm running concealment expert, fire prevention, and dead eye. I think this is a pretty good build for the Lepanto. Um, I can't say if it's good for the Colombo, but Lepanto, this is for the Lepanto. It's pretty good. Um, I don't honestly know what else you could probably do to take. I maybe remove, I don't know concealment for emergency repair expert but then you ruin your dead eye so don't do that um you kind of need the dead eye for a 21 point i would probably take priority target honestly or yeah maybe extended action time on smoke 10 percent. but i think i'd stick with the priority target and i'll just have that build so this is a pretty good build for the lepanto for my modules i'm running main armaments mod one i'm running damage control system mod one and then in slot 3, I'm running Aiming Systems Mod 1 for better dispersion. Um, slot 4, I'm running Prop Mod 1 to accelerate quicker. Uh, slot 5, I'm running Concealment System Mod 1 for better concealment to get that Dead Eye working even more. And on the last slot, 
or make it easier to use to be on it, to be fair and the last slot i'm running the main battery mod 3 which is the reload mod now this one you can swap for range mod if you want i tried both of them um i'm gonna keep playing them and but i so far i'm gonna keep playing the reload mod because i way, way much preferred playing the reload mod even though it has less range um consumables i recommend running the spotter plane the fighter is just yeah, I don't, I don't think the fighter is useful at all, honestly. The, the spotter plane is always useful, especially since your gun range is so limiting in this ship. So you have to take the spotter plane. But yeah, that's the Lepanto, Captain, and Modules. Alright guys, so to end of the video, I just want to tell you guys, of course, thank you for watching another video. Um, thank you for supporting me on Twitch. We have a week-long week -long giveaways this week. Today we're going to give away the tier 8. I'm, up, I'm uploading this right before I stream. So if you're watching this, come over to the stream and, you know, say hi or whatever. And we'll be doing a giveaway probably for an Atago later on. But yeah, so this is the Lapanto. I, I really like this ship. And I'm going to play it a bit more. Maybe I won't like this ship after I play it more. But I like it so far. Played two games in it. They were both really good games. Um, I think reload mod worked fine in first game. Range mod wasn't really a requirement in second game. It could be a requirement in certain games. So, but I think I'm going to stick with the reload mod. But yeah, that's the Lepanto. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the early access Lepanto. Um, I'm really happy I got the ship. Thank you to Solitary Stalker again for donating the ship to me. So we can play it on stream. But yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video, uh, or on stream, or on the Discord. Please do join the Discord. We reached a thousand members there too, so... Wow, we're just breaking milestones at this point, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Big fan, by the way.